Hello, my friends. I don't know what's going on at my local um, second store, but awesome news. I got another bag. If you notice, they're getting like smaller and smaller, but at least you can see what you're looking at when they're big and they're taped up. You can't see. So um, I did see a couple of silver necklaces in there and I wouldn't have bought the bag for $15. However, one of the necklaces has a charm on it that I was interested in. So there's the price tag. And it's this trident looking thing. The chain on that says sterling and it, it looks homemade. So that's the reason I bought the bag. There was another small um, silver, I think, silver necklace in there. It wasn't magnetic. I tried to, to see it, but so there's that. But um, so I don't know if the bag was worth 15 or not. It might be a bust. I did open a couple this week without you, <laughs> and I, I, there was nothing. You missed nothing. There was a couple of small um, silver pieces, but it wasn't worth 15 dollars. So here we go. Um, paparazzi earrings and necklace set. Staped shut. River Ride Blue Necklace by Paparazzi. I'll just put that in the prize container. Um, this looks like it was a, oh, it's a hair thingy that you put the stick through. It does need to be polished up a little bit. Um, I think if it was me, I would take out that wooden thing and put like a fake diamond in the middle and then it would be pretty for an evening wear bun, French twist or something. So I may mess with that for a second and see if it's worth it. Because you don't often find um, dress dressy ones of those. Usually they're made out of leather and they're not very attractive, but that one is actually kind of dressy looking. If we took that off and put a pearl in there and maybe got rid of the yellowy gooey one right there looks like it just got some glue on it but it could be pretty um, I used to wear those all the time in my hair like all the time when I had five little kids running around <laughs> this is a leather thing that's broken so that will go in the garbage But those hair things were just super easy to use when I had, sorry, let's get the mess. Um, when I had, oh, that other silver necklace is broken. I didn't follow it all the way through. It fell out. Darn it. It is a broken bracelet or a necklace. But it's okay. We, I can use the clasp for another real one that might be broken, or I can use it for um, just recycling. I keep the silver and gold separate when I do the recycling. Um, and it was an Italian one. You can see, let me show you. Well, it was a bracelet, I'm guessing, because it looks like it was just like that. And then the clasps is still on there. So actually this could be repaired if I cared, but you know, I've got so many silver rings and bracelets and necklaces that it's not worth paying the money to get them fixed. You can almost buy a new one for that amount. Okay, this is one of those little containers that you'd put little charms in and people would wear them. They're pop popular for like five minutes. Sorry, it's all twisted. Oh, there's This whole bag is really twisted stuff. Um, so you'd put little charms in there. You could put like a locket of hair in there if you wanted to, or um, pictures or gems, or that's mostly what was in there is like little gems and little charms, but the charms were really teeny. So, um, you know, I have a, a daughter who makes um, felted, it's magnetic, felted things. She might actually be interested in that for one of her little um, felted designs. They do do artwork and felting. She's very talented with fibers. So, all right, this was attached to it. No wonders. It's totally, 
totally magnetic. Um, gosh, it's a mess. All right, there's a brass and turquoise looking thing. Earring. Um, a broken pinchy bracelet that I can tell is not real. So we're going to recycle that. Um, somebody asked me a question on my, um, so I'm going to just tell you this while I am get this knot. Um, on one of my videos, they said, what do you mean when you say recycle? So there's lots of things you can do. You can keep the, the gold separate and then you can um, refine it yourself using hydrochloric acid and there's videos on YouTube. I have a guy in town that does it locally using flasks and hydrochloric acid. And you can get hydrochloric acid. I mean, I I don't suggest you do this, but if you're watching the videos and you want to do this, then um, I think this goes on here. Um, then you can buy hydrochloric acid at any health food store. It's a digestive aid, basically. Um, but it's really acidic and probably not worth your trouble because if you burn yourself or whatever, it could be very dangerous. So. But um, people do do it themselves and they have um, venting systems because you want to vent clearly and things like that. So I know a guy in town that does that. So um, I saved my gold and gold plate, uh, high gold plate anyway, um, separate. And then there's a general recycling you can take to the recycling center. Um, but then silver, um, I, I keep separate because I don't want to get the cheaper weight for the the silver and um, a lot of jewelry is made from copper and so um, if you can prove that it's copper underneath and you might be able to get the copper weight but um, so they would test it with a magnet and you could see the copper underneath they might give you the actual copper weight unless there's crap they have to take out of it like beads or something but um, there is a play there are places that recycle like large amounts so if you store up and you save like I've got a tote um, a short, short tote full of different types of metals. So you can take those in and, and um, so this the plate has come off of this bracelet and there's that little pearl on there. I think that pearl went to that. Um, anyway, obviously it's not a real pearl. It's huge. <laughs> it would be probably worth more if it was real. So anyway, that nobody's going to want that probably. Um, so you can take it in and then they will to refine it and, and recycle it and then they'll calculate out how much copper, how much um, silver, how much brass was in it when they melt it all down. So there are places like that you'd have to do some research for your area and see if you have those locally. So that's just um, and and also if you have gold or um, oh wow okay I can see the the back has got copper coming through. It's kind of worn a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but um, so I just recycle that as well. Um, but I called some a couple of dentists in my town and said, hey, where do you, people, not dentists per se, but people who make appliances for dentists, so like crowns out of gold and um, that kind of thing. And they were able to tell me where they sell back their scrap gold once they've used it for what their purposes are. So, um, it says peace in Christ and it's a little thing. I would probably take that off and recycle that. And then, um, this I'll put in for, a. I keep them in, in for girls camp for like dog tags and stuff. So I have a, a bunch of those. I just keep those. This feels like it's almost aluminum. Um, they're, they almost are plasticky, so I'm just going to put those in a kid's um, pinata pile. So I bag those up in little bags and then put them in the pinata, and then they can hit them and get little prizes. Okay, this I saw this at the store. It looks like a garnet, um, but I did see that it said gold electroplate on it, so I'll show you that. And you want to be able to, and, and if you look on the inside, you'll see that it's not smooth like normal gold, that it's kind of bumpy, and that's... Um, when they do the electric plates. So let's see if I can show you correctly. Okay, so it's it's got lots of writing in it. 
So it says, Geo Lind or Ling twenty four carat and then it says um, and then it says something G E. So GE is gold electroplate. So it's 24 karat gold electroplate, but the plate wears off really fast. Um, so it, you can wear it to wear it, but you know that the plate's gonna wear off. And so um, you would end up maybe just recycling it. Come on, where is it? If I can show rings are really hard because you can't get the, the angle quite right to see. So so there's a lot of writing you can see. So hopefully um, you can see that. But it is pretty and you can see if you look at the bottom it's kind of flat. Whereas the top is really shiny and that's a sign of, of plating. So I'll wear it till it comes off. Okay, some more paparazzi looking jewelry. Let's throw it into the get rid of um, prize. I, I play like bingo at different activities and reunions and stuff. So this is a mess still. I don't want to break anything. Sometimes that happens when you're pulling because it's got a fine little gold necklace on it. Um, Okay, there's a little bracelet, and it looks like a cobra snake and some other crowns, and maybe it's a, I don't know, a cross. It's kind of like a, I don't know, a boy's kind of a bracelet. So I can't imagine a girl wanting to wear a cobra, and <laughs> I don't even know what some of these other things are. A wolf, maybe. It's made in China. So this one I would probably also put in the pinata pile. It's in good shape. It looks good. It's just not something that I'd be able to. Halloween is another good one. Um, I, I bag the stuff and I let kids pick what they want at Halloween. And I'm always looking for boy things. Um, they like coins and collector pins and stuff like that. And that would be a perfect one for Halloween. So that's good. Um... So I'm hoping this bag's worth it. Sometimes you just gamble. You just don't know. It's probably not worth it. But then I got to make another video for you guys. So, all right. There's these blue, kind of cheap looking. Looks, yeah, just kind of cheap earrings. Um, okay. It feels very not real. <laughs> it looks very not real. And after a while, you'll get used to it. You'll you'll start saying, oh, that doesn't look quite right. Something's not right with that. These were fun. I saw these. They're little, if you can see them without the glare, they're little cowboy boots. Um, but I think I could see copper coming through, and I didn't see any markings through the bag, in the bag. I mean, there's bags and bags, you know. So... Um, they feel very, very light, and they are very, very thin. I don't even know what. Look and see if it's copper shining through, but it almost looks like there's copper in the center there, kind of pinky in color. So. But they are cute. I mean, they'd be really cute for a... Mm, looks like they're missing a stone out of that side of maybe... Maybe it's glue I'm seeing. It, It's not looking real silver to me, so... 
but they are cute and I do have girls that go western swing dancing and they might like those um they don't really want nine out of ten things I show them but every once in a while I find something they might like so we'll just show them that and see if they're interested um a this is so interesting so it, at first glance it looks like turquoise but then when you get up really really close it looks like it's just dyed rock or it's weird it, it feels like stones you got out of a river and then little wood beads it it doesn't feel or look like turquoise to me it's very different it's just rough stones that look like they were dyed you see how like white it kind of is in there um so i won't keep that and it's very heavy it feels like stones you got out of a river <laughs> so I don't think anybody would wear that in my girls. Um, okay, so I could see when I was looking at the bag that this bracelet has copper coming through. So it won't show magnetism most likely. Oh man, look at that. It just keeps going. So, um, okay, so, um, it doesn't look real. It's a very fine necklace, but it doesn't look real. So I probably will recycle that. It's got brass clasps, so it just doesn't look very good. Um, another one of those, I don't know, it's a little different. So it's similar to that other charm that talked about Christ, peace in Christ, and then it's got a scripture on it. And it's not real. You can tell by looking at the back. When you see that kind of thing, that's machine made. It's not usually silver. Um, somebody might want that though, so I will um, bag that one and let somebody take it if they want. There's that other earring. Okay, there we go. So um, I could see that it was like plated, and there's what looks to be copper coming through all over the place, but watch. So at least one of the strands, mm, both of the strands. That's weird. It looks like copper coming through very, very clearly. I mean, I can see the copper very clearly showing up red underneath, but there's magnetism to it. So it's got to be some kind of alloy. But anyway, I'm going to recycle it because nobody wants that. Um, so this is seashells, little seashells cut into little discs. So I will put that in the luau container. Um, I'll bag them and I put them in the luau. We have family reunions where I've got all the decorations for like limbo and palm trees and I just keep them all in totes with pirates and stuff. And so then I I save those kind of things and I put them in the treasure chest and when people come in they can take put a, a lay on whatever kind it is. Okay this is a broken charm, a uh, broken brooch. It looks like it's a mother's pin to show how many kids she had. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 kids, if that's a mother's charm. Um, all those different gems. Um, but the part broke off where the pin would go, and they looped a, a loop around it. So it's not real. It's very clearly not real. Um, but it's still kind of fun. I don't know when you'd ever wear it, but I have a container of brooches and um, pins that I keep for like wedding bouquets and things like that. So I may just put that in there. Just uh, my sister might be able to take the stones out and use them for bouquet centers, flower centers. Okay, this is the reason I bought the whole bag right here. It's like a trident kind of a charm and I saw the trident and it kind of looked like it was just tarnished silver. It looked homemade, the fact that it's got the turquoise type stone in the center and the way that it's um, made looks like it's, it's custom made. And then the back also kind of looked like a custom made piece that was like they melted the silver and then poured it into their own mold. So it looks like it's not fine made by like a like a 
real jeweler per se, but somebody who's into their own silver making. So, and I, when I looked at it, um, the chain didn't look real to me, just kind of the, the simplicity of the chain itself, um, because I'm used to looking at fine made Italian silver, but because it looked so like homemade, kind of like custom made, I shouldn't say necessarily homemade, but custom made. Um, I looked, I pulled on the chain and, and flipped it around and was looking at to see if I could see any markings on it. And I just polished it up. So now you're, it's going to reflect and you won't be able to see it. But um, so it, let me see if I can show you the stamping. So. you see right it's very hard in the reflection it says sterling right there there you go okay so it said sterling on it and I could see that at the store and I could see that the magnet wasn't picking it up so the magnet is not it's not it's me pushing it, so there's no, it's just me shaking. Okay, so then I wasn't able to tell in the bag if this was magnetic at all, but look, it's not. So this is heavy. This is like solid. Usually they make it like airy and light, but this is solid. And I couldn't see anywhere stamped on the back. I mean, you can see the back's kind of like bubbly. But it's a flat bubble like it's not like bubbly like an electric plate bubble it's bubbly like it was poured into something so I'm gonna do the the tarnish test I'm gonna see if I can shine it up holy moly it was very tarnished and look at the difference so that is a custom-made trident that is cool um, and even the, the way they did the hook is very r kind of remedial versus you can see it kind of lifts up. It's a piece of silver that it's like a hook. If you can see, you can actually lift that up and, and pull the chain out, which is very not, not made by a jeweler. This is made by somebody for something, but Yahoo, cause that is heavy amount of silver. Uh, that right there was definitely worth 15 just that custom trident and the um it's beautiful i mean i could get the tester out but i don't need to even the tarnish on my hands feels like silver tarnish <laughs> you just get used to it look at that you just kind of get used to it and the way it's polishing up you wear this and you'll you'll have the black line but then it will shine up really pretty i mean it's amazing how 30 seconds of rubbing will make it super shiny versus the tarnish like look you can see my reflection in that after just a few rubs so I love that I would actually wear that that's just I mean it's kind of long I don't typically like that's it <laughs> that's how I'm gonna wear it <laughs> it's a medieval thing <laughs> next video I'm just gonna wear it on my forehead I mean it kind of goes kind of low but I could also tie a knot in the back of the chain um I love that I think it's really cool I mean it could hurt you <laughs> it's very sharp but I don't think laying laying like that I think I will tie a couple of knots in it and um and have it be a little bit shorter because I like my necklaces up higher where you, they don't hang under the shirt you know so anyway, that was well worth $15. I'm very excited about that because it's so unique. I love unique jewelry. All my jewelry is just, I love the weird stuff. Um, this is a made in the, it's a seashell. So that will go in the luau pile. It's very nice. It's stretchy. It would be great for kids. They would love that little heart. Like, you know, see, can't you just see a little Moana? <laughs> Mulan. Moana. <laughs> I got Mulan and Moana. <laughs> Mixed up, but can't you just see one of the little kids loving that? They would think that's awesome. And look, a second one with a pretty little flower on it. So, and I do have a lot of um, 
nieces and nephews that are having kids now. So there's reunions. Well, there'll be lots of little kids. So, and then here is a tortoise, shell, uh, a turtle made out of a shell. So I will put that in the container as well. Somebody would love that. Maybe I'll put a piece of leather through it and there's a pretty big hole so that one of the boys can have it. Um, yeah, there's a lot of weird, like, just weird made stuff. I don't know. It looks like I can see copper coming through on the chain. I was just checking to see if it's silver, but it looks like it's, uh, there's copper coming through on it. I think here, I'll try it up here. <laughs> it looks, it looks copper coming through to me. So you always want to check because I would just take this off if it was silver. Sometimes they sell this, this, um, this jewelry making silver so you could put it around crystals and stuff like that. So you always want to check and make sure it's not silver. Uh, little girl's dress up -y necklace in gold. And I have a lot of those already, but if I didn't, I, I save them in a little jewelry bag about a little bit smaller than this. And I stack them in those plastic embroidery floss trays. And then when I need a necklace for something, giving away a charm to a kid's friend or something, I'll just pull one of those out, throw the charm on it, and then I can give it away and it's not costing me anything. Um, this is really pretty. It's not real um, gold, but it's just a real jade pendant. It's pretty. Definitely not real, but I, I think that's really pretty stone and setting. I like that. I might keep that one. Let's see. Um, one of those bracelets that was popular like 15 years ago, 20 years ago. Um, I've kept some of them. I've gotten rid of some of them. I just thought it might be fun for the grandkids to have at some point. Um, that one doesn't look too tarnished or beat up, so I'll probably put that in a bag and give it away. Um, man, for some reason, these are the kind of bangles that people love at yard sales and come and dig and, and get. Um, there's a couple piece, pieces of turquoise on there, but not enough that it would be worth pulling it apart or dealing with it. So that will go in the donate pile. Uh, also, this little... Got a few pieces of turquoise on it, but some I'll put that in the pinata pile because a little kid would love that. It's a smaller bracelet size. So um, here's a dream catcher necklace. I actually have a couple of earrings. One of my kids was asking me about dream catchers and they have dream catcher earrings. So I'll see if she's interested in this. I, I highly doubt she's interested in this, but I will ask her just to be sure. Also with this, um, I live in the West. And so when I have people come from the East Coast, because we used to live on the East Coast, when they come to visit, I sometimes will bag little things like that that represent the West, you know, dream catchers or um, lizards or cocopelli men or um, cowboy, cowboy hats, boots, things like that. I will give those to the little kids that come visiting. So I also sometimes keep them for that reason. Um, yeah, this one's... I'll put it with that other bracelet when I bag it. There, this is what the little girl's necklace, um, that, that gold necklace was probably on. And my granddaughter loves this kind of thing. So I may actually, um, God, I don't even know how you would, how do you put the pictures in that? You got to glue them in. <laughs> and um, I can see it's like plated because you can see the bumps on the back. The plating bumps. Can you see those little bumps? That's plated. Um, so I'll put that back on that necklace and maybe give it to one of the grandkids. But that would be an item like if you didn't have kids around and you didn't want to take it to like a children's hospital or somewhere where you could let a kid have it or a pinata. If you don't have anybody around you, that would be something you could throw in a recycle. But I always try to um, let somebody get value out of it rather than just putting it in the recycle. Um, sorry, I was testing the magnet on this. It's not magnetic. Um, it's, uh, God, I, the one color that does not show up on this color, it's, this is bright pink. It's very, very bright pink. <laughs> like, it's weird, you can't see it. And then it's just diamonds on the side. So there's, there's diamonds, and then you can kind of see pink in there. It's just weird. It's like a, it's bright pink. 
I don't, I don't know why my computer does that. Um, on the bottom, it kind of looks like not very shiny. So it looks like it's been, it's, it's plated, but, um, let me look through the loop and see if I can see copper. Cause it's not magnetic. So it's gotta be brass copper. Hmm. And this is the last thing I think. Oh, there's a pair of earrings in the bag. Interesting. I'm not seeing any markings. And it does look like it's plated, but I don't it doesn't look like it's brass underneath. I mean copper. So there's no markings to show you. I can just tell you that it's not as shiny on the bottom. Oh, it's it's looking brass. Or, yeah, it looks brass. That's why I didn't see the bright red. It's just kind of yellowy. Let me see if I can show you. The lighting. I never know. I've tried so many different types of lighting. Uh anyway it's it's brass coming through which is almost better than copper because then it doesn't show bright like when it when the plating comes off of copper and it's really a small ring too let me take off isn't this a cool ring now check this out i got this in peru and they had a bunch of these in there it's real silver that's moonstone and then there's the blue topaz uh lapish um but anyway so it fits that finger and I actually do like it so I'd probably just wear it anyway so let's see and then there's a pair of earrings uh August birthstone it looks like can you see now why does the green show up so well but the pink doesn't show up at all I don't know that's so weird anyway so those are cheap little birthstone earrings put my ring back on and I bought the ring because I already had bought, uh, well, not this one, because I have another blue lapis um, one, but I did get the earrings and uh, the ring and a necklace while I was there. So, and then these I found in the bags over the years that kind of matched. So that was fun. Um, yay. That was it. So to recap, I got these two lovely rings. Neither of excuse me neither of them are real i got a broken little sterling bracelet that could or could not be fixed um and then i got um the cute little cowboy boots which i kind of like and i got this jade necklace which i kind of like um none of, none of them are of value however oh and then i got those new paparazzi things that could be a great gift and then i got a few things for Halloween or whatever, but my favorite thing and the one that's the, probably the most valuable, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it, it's silver and it's very heavy and it's kind of fun. And you will see me <laughs> wearing it like that again. <laughs> Not probably. <laughs> anyway, so thank you so much for watching. Um, check out my blog, thesecretisgratitude.com and you can see why I do this and how I got started doing this. And um, I've learned a lot over the years. And I have a lot of how-to videos on my um, treasure hunt playlist that you can look up and see. And I show you a little bit more detail. And I show you how I sort it and how I store it and the containers and how I separate them. And and then I just have a lot of bags that I go through. But um, YouTube's kind of shifted the way that they're doing things. And so people usually do this at the beginning of their videos, but I think that's unfair because people are waiting to see it. If you don't want to hear this, you don't want to hear this, but they've changed it so that, that it goes off of thumbs up and likes. And, um, and then there's like methods to try and get your videos up there to be seen. So if you like it, um, click the thumbs up. If you want to see more, you can subscribe. And then you also need to click the bell. Um, once you subscribe, there's a little bell that will give you notifications when I put out a new video. So those are some ways that you can stay connected. There's also um, on the newer videos that I'm putting out, I have over 800 and I've been doing this for 10 years. And so on the newer videos, um, I just am putting contact information and things like that. So check it out.
the secret is gratitude on both dot com and on youtube as the channel so thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a very blessed day